Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Tiger, a small business owner, and today I'm setting up my bullet journal for July. As usual, I write the headings in Norwegian, so it's Juli instead of July. It ends with an I instead of Y. The first thing I did was to use a ruler to get my lines straight. And of course, I drew some of the lines a bit too long. And then I used my Artex uh, acrylic markers. I recently got them and I just love using them. And I thought it would be fun to like try to use them for heading and uh, the decorations that you'll see later on. I went for a red color for the headings, but with the green I used later on, it felt really Christmassy and <laughs> I didn't want that. So on the next couple of spreads, I changed to a pink. My inspiration for these spreads are the theme for my wedding that was on July 13th. I painted this birch branch last year and we have used it on the invitations and now also the table setting cards or like name plates for the table. And I also used it for like the seating chart and the program for the church and yeah. So it's been like a cohesive uh, motive through every every part of the wedding in that case and we had some red details included here and there and that's why i wanted to make the titles red but yeah as i said i uh, made it look a bit christmasy and i didn't like it so i changed it to pink so drawing these birch branches on the spreads, I didn't have exactly the same colors because the original birch branch was drawn with the, or painted with the gouache. So I mixed the colors myself, but I tried to use the different colors from the markers that I had and just, yeah try to make it look the same. Also, I've been <laughs> practicing my calligraphy or brush lettering. So that's why these titles are a bit different than they've usually been. As usual, on my monthly spread, I have a to-do list, a to-do list for my small business, a small habit tracker, and I got the monthly overview with the week numbers. In addition, I made a YouTube content planner so that I could uh, write down for myself what I wanted to post when. It didn't go exactly to plan uh, as this video was supposed to be posted uh, about two weeks ago, but I just didn't have the time before the wedding to finish it. So you get two bullet journal videos this month and I hope that's okay. the pink color that I chose and also it's like I, I just felt it was like so satisfying to write out these words so <laughs> and that's why you got a little zoomed in experience of that. On this spread I have a habit tracker for like on the last spread it was like for the business how often I post to social media how often I draw something or yeah, different kind of things. And this is more like a personal habit tracker. So I track my workout, walking, painting, whether traditional or digital and like embroidery or like sewing. And on the left side, next to the habit tracker, I have my personal expenses. And on the right side, I have my small business expenses. 
I also tried to fill up the page with the uh, branches to make it more fun and colorful to look back at and to choose. The next spread is my brain dump. I decided to just make it easy or simple and I didn't want the decorations to take up too much space because I thought that I might need a spread a lot this month. Spoiler alert, I didn't use it at all. But yeah, I actually like this that the word were like separated a bit and also that the branch is like holding it and framing it kind of. The next spread is, of course, my weekly spread, starting with week 27. This time I went for a bit of a different uh, approach, or it's the same approach, but I started with painting in the leaves instead of the branch. And then I went on to the numbers and the headings. Then I went back in to detail uh, the leaves and make sure the leaves on both sides were colored in. Then I went on to the branch because I realized it was better to do that first and uh, then I just detailed all the leaves to try to make it cohesive and make it nice to look at. The last I did was the drawing in the frame for every box, like for the weekdays and the to-do lists and everything. And here it is, my setup for July. I really love the pink color. I thought um, the expression got a bit more muted and nice. And um, <laughs> I really regret using red on the first spread. But that's okay. That's how we learn. And um, I'll try to remember this for the next time. Hope you have a nice day. And thank you so much for watching this far. Bye!